the increase in the policy uncertainty in the first quarter of this year is really mainly attributable to the cabinet reshuffle in general and in particular the replacement of Minister Proven Gordon by Minister Gigaba. I think that was the most important single factor that has led to this increase in the policy uncertainty index. What's important is the Minister of Finance in particular, but the government in general, together with the private sector, must try and build a better climate of certainty and trust so that we have some idea of the economic road ahead, that we will see that, that we want to get this economy moving again. We don't want low growth rates. We don't want to be found in a low growth trap because we need economic growth in order to create jobs, to get tax revenues and to create hope for the future. So it's very important that we reduce policy uncertainty and we make decisions which enable business and other investors to plan ahead and commit themselves to South Africa. South Africa must try to avoid junk status as far as possible. And if Moody's join the club, then I think there are going to be negative consequences for the South African economy. We already see some of them already. It's not an ideal situation. Will we survive? Of course we'll survive if survival is good enough. We want to avoid higher borrowing costs. We want a higher growth rate. We want higher employment. These things are very difficult to achieve if you're being downgraded by the credit rating agencies and if, if, if the capital markets don't like what you're doing in, in South Africa. So it's very important that we avoid junk status as far as possible. Radical economic transformation is something that adds to uncertainty as long as there isn't content to it. I think we all agree the South African economy does have to be transformed. The question is how and in what way? What are the priorities when you talk about radical economic transformation? Are you inspiring confidence by the way you talk about it? Does there need to be a blueprint that will enable business and other stakeholders to say, yes, when we opt for radical economic transformation, this is the road we're going to go down. And I think that certainty is still lacking in the debate about radical economic transformation. I would not say that just yet. I think the risks of a technical recession have risen, but there's still an opportunity to mitigate the effects of what has happened recently, both in terms of the cabinet reshuffle and the threats of junk status which have occurred. We can still, we can still mitigate that, but we've got to understand that the risk of a recession has risen. Certainly our growth rate will be lower this year than has been expected, I think probably below 1%.